Good afternoon. My name is Michael Spainable. I'm the fire chief here in the town of Hadley, and we just wanted to do a quick presentation for you on the upcoming ballot vote for the new 105 foot steel ladder that we've requested through the town. We thank you very much for coming out for town meeting and voting yes to put it onto the ballot. We just wanted to give you some additional information why it is so critical that we have a ladder truck in the town of Hadley. So first off, we just wanted to show you, this is the, our center station, and this bay here is where our ladder truck is normally parked. We have not had our ladder truck in service for over three months now, as we are currently waiting for parts to be manufactured for the 2000 Seagraves ladder that we have. Uh, it has finally been shipped out to get that new part in, and we're not sure when it'll be completed. So for over three months now, the town of Hadley has not been protected by a ladder truck. In 2014, it was requested by me, by the select board, to actually put the uh, upcoming ladder truck purchase into capital so we could start planning for it. Uh, in 2014, the estimated price was $1.15 approximately million dollars, with a build time between 24 and 36 months. Flash forward to 2023 in December when we actually re requested from the town when it went up for the first ballot vote. Uh, the price was increased to $2 million and the time frame for a build out was 36 months. Now 2024, uh, you know we're into May now, we're looking at the same price, uh, which I can't guarantee is going to remain in effect if it doesn't pass at this meeting. Uh, but I can tell you that we're now looking at a 48 month build time for the ladder. So we won't even see this truck in the station until a minimum of 2028, which is when we would have we would start paying for it. Uh, we're attempting, doing everything we can to try and save our taxpayers funding and money. We understand how tight everybody's wallets and pocketbooks are right now, but this is truly a life safety device, and it's 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 critical for us. Uh, it provides for rescue. It provides for uh, water water supply and just everything. It is very important for us to have a ladder truck for the town of Hadley. Just from me starting in 2018, we have so much growth here from residential structures to commercial structures. Uh, right now, if we have a new hotel or something built and we have to get around the building, we actually have to have them put a new compact so we can at least get a ladder truck around back or we can reach it from the front. Um, I know a lot of people ask about the whole reaching situation and why do we need such a tall ladder truck for the town of Hadley. Um, it's also the height that we have on a lot of these buildings now and it's also the reach issue that we have for a lot of the new houses and the new commercial property that's being built. Um, reach is such a critical thing in fire safety for our firefighters to work off the ladder truck and keep everyone safe. We wanted to talk with you also about what this ladder truck can do. So this ladder truck does not just employ a 105 foot ladder, it's called a quint. That means it has everything on it that we would need to set up at a fire scene. It has a pump, it has hose line, it has supply hose, it has ground ladders, and it has actual water on it, usually 500 to 750 gallons of water. With minimal staffing, it's really critical that we have a piece of equipment that can be set up by either one or two staff because we just don't have the initial response. We have to wait for our call force partners. Uh, currently we're running 24-hour uh, shifts with two people, two full-time firefighters on, and then myself and the deputy during the day. Uh, so if we have to set up a ladder truck at a scene, we can do that with this Quint with either one or two firefighters. If we have to set up ground ladders, Ground ladders can take anywhere from three to six people to set up, depending on the size of it. And with our three and four story, uh, sometimes we can't even reach where we need to reach with an extension ladder. So that's the other real critical item that we have. We also have many homes now that are installing uh, photovoltaics or solar panels. And solar panels are now covering a majority of the roofs where we normally have access to ventilate and, uh, and, do, and, and employ ventilation of hot gases and fire if we have a structure fire. 
and that limits our access. By having this ladder truck, we would have more flexibility to reach areas that may not be covered, which allows us areas to ventilate. Fire is extremely quick now. The time frame that you have in a home now can be two to three minutes. It can be minutes for you to get out of a home, and then it can be within 10 minutes, you could have a fully involved structure fire. We truly need to have a quick response, and we need to be able to get uh, we need to get a ladder truck set up so we can vent those uh, hot heated gases and fire so that our firefighters can actually make a safe entry and affect a rescue if needed or do interior operations to put a fire out. So the ladder that we are requesting, uh, we can also extend the ladder up and we have a nozzle at the end of it. So we can actually do uh, firefighting with it. We can actually protect other exposures. If we have a house fire, we can protect the neighboring house. We can protect a barn. Um, we can just do so much with this ladder truck with the amount of people that we can get on scene right away um, to do firefighting activities right away. The other thing that we can do with this new ladder truck, if we do get it, is we can also do several different rescues, not just firefighting. Uh, we can do rescues from trench rescue to river rescues to confined space rescues. Um, the ladder, we can actually put it out, extend it all the way out to the 105 feet that we can and actually lower it down almost to the ground. So if we have to get someone that's stuck in water, like Aquavita, when it floods during, uh, you know, when it rains a lot, we can actually make rescues from this ladder truck and also do it as that. So there's other parts to us getting this ladder truck to do not just firefighting, but also we can do rescues. I wanted to discuss with you a little bit on insurance ratings for the town of Hadley in relation to our new 105 foot ladder truck. ISO is the insurance services organization and residents have that pay homeowners insurance with fire coverage. ISO is normally who your insurance companies will uh, have evaluate what the fire protection uh, services are for your community, which includes water supply, also dispatching, and then what we have for apparatus, staffing, training, equipment maintenance and everything else. Uh, with our 75 foot ladder that we have currently, we are not meeting the minimum standard for ISO. As the deputy chief was saying, we have a lot of new commercial properties in town, new four store, a new four story school. We have multiple uh, three, three and a half story hotels. And because of that, we just don't have the, the reach that we need or the ladder truck that actually meets that ISO standard. Uh, we are also just concerned because our current ladder, with its age, is going to have to be taken out of service if we want to comply with an FPA standard. An FPA standard says that either that truck needs to go into a reserve uh, status, where it's a backup to a primary ladder, or it needs to be taken out of service after 25 years. So we are very concerned that we are not going to be meeting that standard, and with new OSHA regulations actually coming into effect soon, we're concerned that we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to somehow figure out how we can address that in a quicker fashion because we are going to be violating certain OSHA and NFPA standards.